I get all these empirical data, Rotus. But you can't also absorb it from the policy of corruption. Look at Zacchaeus talking about crypto, the same crypto that you have incarcerated there in what's it called Binance now. But because you know that there's money coming from there, now you're talking about, it's not the same crypto that you said was affecting your forex, that you should stop trading crypto so that your forex will, what is it called, will stabilize. Mm. Didn't they blame forex? Now, they are doing Dutch auction system. It's not still holding the Naira. The Naira is still going to 1,600. Okay, so Rufaya, just, just one question. Now. Eh. Is there anything positive you see in data with what has been put forward? Yeah, because what, what the, the thing is this, you, you ask for empirical data daily, 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 right? So, all you've done is just say corruption. If you, you bring a solution here, corruption will destroy it. You bring a solution here, corruption will destroy it. You bring it. So you, 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 the thing well, is, well, 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 you, the point is that if every single way you turn, you say that nothing will work, corruption will destroy it. Then let me just put my laptop down, pick up my phone, and let everybody just go home and no, leave Nigeria no, to you, burn. You, you, you see, the problem with many people is that, especially the World Bank, that they don't understand Nigeria. It's not this trumped up data economics that they do. You're talking about the country. And for those that you make the argument, we take the money, we reverse in other parts of the economy. You're talking about the country that the government has invested 15 trillion in the coastal road that was needless, where you have other roads that were still remaining to be done. And they left those roads. In fact, actually that 15 trillion invested in just one road was going to fix all the pre-existing roads in Nigeria. I didn't say that. Do you know who said that? The minister of works himself but we took that money went to launch a new project and we left many roads undone they're talking about a country that has a persistent niggling mindset of corruption where even if you make those savings they will never reverse into a lot of the people today we are talking about the presidential jets where they've not told us how they got the money to buy it so for me i understand the culture of impunity maybe down the line if we change the culture of impunity which i don't think will change anytime soon you can make a sensible argument. You were talking about Singapore. I looked at you, I laughed. Mm. Do you know what will happen in Nigeria when they build those buildings? Government workers will buy those same buildings of the government and sell it at exorbitant rates. Go and check most of the government housing they do. It's already pre-bought by the same people internally. So you are comparing with Singapore and you are saying, if you give homes up, it will never be visible here. Probably only the days of them jack on day. When there was finance, it's government officials that we take, they will buy us all those homes at 20 or 10 million naira, and they will go and resell it at 40, 50 million naira. Go and check if it's that easy. All the homes are gonna have a building. Just please apply to buy one of these government housing projects. Just go ahead. I want you to do it yourself. Rotus, culture will eat strategy for breakfast. All you are saying is strategy. The deeper problem is the culture. I get what Kalu. I was saying, can we put the subsidy at the pump? But the culture of corruption will never allow them to put it at the pump. You will see rich people faking big. Do you see that Dambelo's investigation where somebody had 44 different accounts? 44 local government were paying monies to one account. So when you even say you want to do stickers for the poorest of the poor and you know income bracket and things like that, they will still corrupt it. Wait till you see this import we want to import of food now. But you now hear the corruption that will happen. Haven't you even seen with the forex situation that, oh, it was for Form M for people and things like that. You're supposed to give them for, to benefit their business. Have people not fraudulently taken over the process? So the World Bank, with due respect, did not even understand the culture of impunity. They will come, they will crunch data and everything. That's why you see all their data crunching has not changed. And my fear has always been the draconian policies they put forward. I'll take you back to 86. This was how they advocated SEFM, second tier foreign exchange markets. Oh, it will find the value at around three naira. It went up to, as a, as a 1991, we're already getting over seven to 11 naira. And we never remain the same then. I get all this empirical data, Rotus. But you can't also absorb it from the policy of corruption. Look at Zacchaeus talking about crypto, the same crypto that you have incarcerated there in what's it called Binance now. But because you know that there's money coming from there, now you're talking about, it's not the same crypto that you said was affecting your forex, that you should stop trading crypto so that your forex will, what is it called, will stabilize. Mm. Didn't they blame forex? Now, they are doing Dutch auction system. It's not still holding the Naira. The Naira is still going to 1,600. Okay, so Rufaya, just, just one question. Uh, 
Is there anything positive you see in data with what has been put forward here? Because what, what the, the thing is this, you, you ask for empirical data daily, 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 right? So, this is, wait now, hold on. Yeah. The data here shows that subsidies are wasteful spending. The Singapore example, I was making the example to say that, because Nigeria, we do public, we do um, uh, low-income housing here in Nigeria yeah, so as well. Who are so the people what, that buy the, the, the low-income housing? Thing is, the point I was trying to make is that inefficient spending on subsidies, as was made by World Bank, IMF, everybody, every analyst, every guest that has come here, put the spending in other things that have value. Subsidies are a tax cut for the wealthy. Rufus. So if you, just one second, I just want to wrap up. All you've done is just say corruption. Will, if you, you bring a solution here, corruption will destroy it. You bring a solution here, corruption will destroy it. You bring it. So you, you, well, the thing well, is, we're we're not not you're speak, you, you, the point is that if every single way you turn, you say that nothing will work, corruption will destroy it, then let me just put my laptop down, pick up my phone, and let everybody just go home and no, leave Nigeria no, to you, burn. You, you, you know what I'm saying? It, there has to be some Rotus. hope and optimism Rotus. that some of these things Rotus. can work. Rotus, let me tell you something. It has to work. You can't be doomsday every day. Rotus, when Tinubu came in, he promised renewed hope. He's renewed Shige. He's one saying. year into no, office. Wait, now let me, let me speak, Rotus. Yeah. Let me speak. You see, the problem with you, a lot of people don't understand the means. I'm a very factual realist. Hang on a minute. You think I don't want this country to work? You think? Do you have wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. okay, go ahead. You think I don't want this country to work and I come here every single day advocating and fighting for this country? Against my own personal satisfaction sometimes? See, I have told you here that subsidy years, people are frittering it away. Have we been able to solve the corruption? Realistically, no. Do you think it's this present political crop that will solve your corruption? I here have advocated with you face removal have i not but even with face removal is it the same nmpc that they released their report today that you are saying you want the financials because you can't trust them enough are these the people who are going to live with this so road to see i am saying the reality so that people that are watching can understand realism and press for more accountability you are talking about subsidy savings in a country where the president did not even respect you enough before he went ahead to buy a private jet behind you. Without a, he didn't even resp, he didn't, he didn't rate you enough as a citizen. So you think I don't want the best for this country? Rotus, we want the best. I'm hopeful. Well, give me hope. Give me hope. I need to hear hope and positivity. From, give me hope on something. Let give me, me something you've seen that is hopeful. Let me tell give me you one hope. thing, please. Let me tell you hope. Okay. My hope now will be, how can we increase revenue through mining? But subsidy is eating up the revenue. Wait now. now. Because see, if we harness gas properly, we are doing 12 billion revenue target. We can actually do 40 billion dollars or 50 billion from gas if we harness gas. So we can increase the pots. That's a realistic hope to me. How can we drive more revenue? How can we look for loopholes and block corruption and ensure that we drive up the revenues? For me, that's more realistic hope that we can reinvest. But if you say with this pit and resource, and you think this culture of impunity will not continue, Rutus, we are kidding ourselves. Look, I was like you many years ago. <laughs> you were like me. <laughs> All right. I, 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 think, I think one of the things, just like when Vimbai came yeah, in, yes. one of the things that must happen is balance. And yeah. that's why I love the fact that on the side, at the end of the day, both of you are fighting for the same thing, only yeah. from different sides of the table. I'm just so Rutus, in terms of renewed I get hope, your hope, hopeful yeah, and Rotus. all that, and um, Rufai is a bit more realistic with regards to the Nigerian reality. But I do wait, so agree. Are you, wait, when you say yeah. Rufai is a bit more realistic, yeah. are you telling me that the subsidies we're paying now $6.8 trillion, yes. we should continue to spend that each year when you have other items that you no, can put I down, think, like no, housing, I don't, I don't think, no, education, no, no, no. and healthcare? Well, you need to listen. What, what he had mentioned was, the, was gradual phasing out of subsidy and also to fix the structural challenges that we have. I think that's it's, it's, it's side by side. So if we don't fix those challenges, no matter how much money we save on subsidy, it will still not go it to housing, so, 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 education. Uh, no, we're okay. not saying that that's the end, that we're never going to fix it. But the reason why we must speak, about, uh, speak out about it is that we must acknowledge the fundamental challenges that we have in this nation. We have to. And it's not being negative. Okay. It's just facing the truth so that we can begin to challenge it. If we if we act or bury our heads in the sand as if there's nothing like corruption, if they save on subsidy, we'll go to education, mm. we're not going to hold people accountable to actually fix the problem. I think that's where, for me, I was just going to, I mean, for the Singapore one, my comment on that was just that, of course, you can understand Lawrence Wong's position because he has an election to win come at least at the, at the latest November 2025. And part of the things that the Singaporeans enjoy 
enjoy is affordable housing. About 80% of Singaporeans have access to public housing. Yeah. And that is enabled by government policy, including the fact that, aside from the loan to value limit, they are also giving you know, um, increasing grants. Um, um, grants. Yeah. So, 40,000 um, um, in terms of grants to people who want to be homeowners, and also to stop the arbitrage, especially in terms of the higher um, resale value of homes as a result of the fact that they don't have enough homes for, for um, Singapore. So, a number of things to consider. And that's a hallmark of good leadership. Ayo, for the fact that we're having this conversation, we are both doomed. Subsidy is gone already, Rotus. No, 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 no. We have it. Subsidy is gone. Like you mentioned, we have a deeper conversation.